All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to determine if a binomial, okay, right up here, I'm going to determine if a binomial divides evenly into a polynomial. Okay, now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is by using synthetic substitution, we are going to quickly determine if a binomial divides evenly into a polynomial. Okay. Now, why would we even need to know this? This is a process that we use for uh, for solving polynomials, for graphing. Uh, there's a couple of different uses for this. Okay. So anyway, the question that we have here is: Is the binomial a factor of the polynomial? Okay. If it's a factor, that means it's going to divide evenly. So that's that's what I want to do. I want to see if x uh, x squared minus three x plus one is it divisible by x plus one? Is x plus one going to be a factor? of this polynomial. Okay, and I can actually quickly figure that out using the synthetic substitution process. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do is inside the box, the number I'm going to multiply with is actually a negative one. Remember, we use the opposite of this number here. And then the coefficients are the coefficients here, which are going to be 1, negative 3, and 1. And then I have a little gap here for some numbers I'm going to be adding with. And then right below my last number, I put this little box. That's where the remainder is going to go. Now, and that, that's the thing, is that if a, if a polynomial divides evenly, there will not be a remainder. Okay, just like just like dividing any other number. If I take uh, four divided by two, I get two with no remainder. But if I take five divided by two, I get two and a remainder of one half. Two goes into five twice with a remainder of one. Okay, that doesn't divide evenly. This one here does divide evenly. Okay, so just for a very basic example. Anyway, now I want to go through the synthetic substitution process. Okay, so bring this one down. Uh, negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1. Add this down to get negative 4. Multiply here. Bring that up to get 5. Add that down to get 6. Okay, so what it looks like here, what it looks like here is that I have a remainder of 6. Now, right there, that tells you that x plus 1 is not, I repeat, is not a factor. Okay, so that's a big N-O, big no. Okay, all right. So that, that's, that's basically what we're looking at here is that this x plus 1 does not divide evenly in this polynomial. Okay, so this is something uh, later on we'll when we use this for solving. Uh, this x plus 1 would not help me to solve. It will not help me to graph. It won't help me to do any of that. Okay, so now let's do this for the next one down here. Okay, next one down here. Let me change colors here. So now what I want to do is I want to use synthetic substitution to see if this works. Now notice x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the first. I, am, I have a gap here. Okay, I have I don't have an x squared there. So when I set up my synthetic substitution, I got to remember that I don't or that I'm going to have a gap there. Okay, so inside the box here, I'm going to have negative two. Okay, that's the opposite of this number here. So I got a negative two there. Then I have my coefficients of three and 6, and 0, don't forget the gap, and negative 5, and negative 10. Okay, this one's a little bit longer than the last one. It's going to take a little bit more. Okay, but again, the process still remains the same. What I'm going to do is add down, multiply up. Add down, or yep, add down, multiply up. Add down, and multiply up. <laughs> add down, well, a lot of zeros there. I got, I'm going I'm to double check this when I... When I get the chance, and multiply up and add down. Holy cow. Never seen so many zeros. Okay, let's, let's, let's double check this. Okay, threes and six and my gap of zero and then negative five and then negative ten. So I got those numbers right. I'm multiplying by a negative two, got that right. Bring the three down, negative six, add that to get zero. That's not zero, adds to get zero. Multiplies to zero, that's negative five. That's going to be a positive ten. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I just want to double check because. Because this is actually the first time I've worked it, to be quite honest, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get that or not. But anyway, what does this mean? Okay, what are we trying to figure out? Okay, this tells me right here, I have a remainder of zero. A remainder of zero. So what that actually tells me is that x plus 2 is, big is, is a factor. Okay, that means it is a factor of this polynomial here. X plus 2 is a factor. That means that I can divide by it. That means uh, it's going to help me with the graphing. Uh, that means it divides evenly so that when I factor and do some solving, I can actually use X plus 2. Okay? So that's, that's what you can use. That's, uh, that's, using, um, that's using a um, 
uh, what is this called? What's this process called? Synthetic substitution. There we go. Uh, this is using synthetic substitution uh, to see if a binomial divides evenly into a polynomial. There's just a couple of quick examples of that. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.